Today we will study how to wait for an element. As some of you probably know, the wait for element with expected conditions using selenium is already deprecated. It's also throwing exceptions. It's unreliable and it's very simple just to wait for element. It's something that we all need all the time. Let's say something that we want to see on the screen like an, a button or any other element that we want it to be loaded, fully loaded before we proceed with our test. We would like to use wait for element. How to do it? First of all, it's quite simple. Before we'll get started, you also will need some method to ask if it's timeout. This is a method that I wrote myself. You can write any other method that fits to you. Just a quick explanation. Here you can see that I have my original time and the timeout in seconds, the, the desired timeout. I multiply the timeout in seconds by a thousand in order to transform it to a millisecond. The end time should be the original time that, that we send to this method and the wait time. And then it's returning a Boolean value if the end time is smaller or bigger than the current time. Let's overview our method of the wait for element. Here we have the start time and we also have the Boolean value is found, which is initialized to be false. We're running with a while loop and asking every time, is our element found? Is it a timeout already? While it's not a timeout and not the element is not found, we'll continue to try to get the element. And then we will ask in the end if the element is equals or different from null. If it will be null, it will go over again as long as the timeout didn't pass. Okay, so we'll uh, get a false value. In the end, I will break out of the loop. Either it will be found or the timeout will pass. Anyway, we'll get the Boolean value in the end, which will tell us if the element was found or not. As you probably see, I have these uh, three lines commented out. Let's uncomment them and let's talk about it as well. There is another option to see. Sometimes uh, Selenium will give us a true in this uh, case that the element is already found. Like it won't be null, but it won't be displayed on the screen yet. It can be in a situation that is hidden right now and we want to wait for this element to appear. So in this case, we can also check if the element is displayed. We can transfer to this method a Boolean value check if it's displayed. If you want to check if the element is displayed as well, we can also ask if it's found is the element is displayed. I've already uh, wrote this as really three lines method. It will check if the element is displayed. If it's null or it will return a false value. Otherwise, we'll ask if the element is displayed. Why we check if the element is null, by the way? Because if we'll activate the is displayed method on the element and it's currently null, we'll get a null pointer exception. And as you probably know, we're trying to avoid these kind of exceptions all the time. Thank you for watching. And if you still didn't hit the subscribe button, please do it now. Please give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Also, please share with us in the comments below if you would like to cover some more topics. We'll try our best to answer all of your requests. Thanks again and we'll see you soon. Bye.